FileMaker 18 introduces a new XML export grammar that is billed as a method for doing version comparison between two copies of your FileMaker files. Imagine you just added a bunch of schema to your FileMaker app but discovered a flaw and want to back out the changes. You could back out those changes or remove them using your memory or you could compare two XML representations of your file and make your life much easier so you don't I you know miss anything you know leave stuff in there I really don't like it when I leave stuff inside my FileMaker file that has nothing to do because I go back and I look and I go what's that for and it's just because you know you accidentally left it there because it's a feature that you went down that road and it didn't work so let's show you how it works we're gonna create a new contacts template very simple just create it. You can see some of the cool stuff in FileMaker 18. It gives you more information about the templates here. We'll hit create, save it on the desktop, and there's our file. Here's the feature. Save a copy as XML. They had database design report, but now they have this new version. Now you won't see that unless in preferences and on the Macintosh is under this menu. On Windows it's going to be under the file menu. If you go into preferences, you need to make sure you have use advanced tools checked and you have to close and open FileMaker again. So if you don't see it there, make sure you check that option. So I'm going to simply save a copy as XML. Call it contacts1. Hit save. It does this thing where it opens up the folder where it's saved and it's kind of a little annoying, but you get used to it as close it, but it's very fast as you can see. Now we're going to go into Manage Database and make a few changes. So I'll make Test 1, Test 2. I'll add a table here. We'll call it Test Table. Create it. Go to Relationships. We've added that table occurrence there. We can go into our scripts. And we'll put in Test Script. With a few steps here, we'll put in go to field, let's say, maybe go to layout. Nothing special, just really quickly save that, close it. Now go and do save a copy as XML again, call it contacts2. Hit the save button, opens up that folder again. We've got the two XML documents here. All we have to do is go into some program that can do version comparison of text documents. I'm going to choose BBEdit. All I have to do is come in here, choose Find Differences, locate my file. So I've already done that. I'd have to hit the other button here normally. Hit Compare. It opens them up. And you can see there's some stuff that you don't really care about. Maybe the member counts, but you'll see that we come down here. We can see that here's our table occurrence that we added. Here's the two fields we added right here. You can easily see the difference between these two files. In fact, it's so easy to do, I made a little file that actually does it for you. Only took me about 30 minutes. I had some existing XSLT to transform it. So you have to know how to you know, work with XML to do this. But if you have that XSLT already, it's actually pretty easy to do. I'm going to say compare. It's going to ask you. Are you sure you want to delete the previous report? This is a very simple file, so it only contains one report. I'm giving it to you guys for free, but I haven't spent a lot of time. But at the whole point is that it's actually pretty easy to do, and I think you'll find a lot of developers bringing out really full-featured uh, you know, schema comparison solutions. So we're going to click OK. In the following dialog, select the first one. OK. We'll go to Contacts 1. Good. Select the second one. There we go. Just takes a second here. And you can see there's all of the differences right there. It shows you exactly what's going on. So this comes free as a download. When you download the files, all the files will be in one big zip that I've done for all these videos for FileMaker 18. Now you may be wondering about this XML format. It's preview only. That's very important to understand because it may change significantly in the future based on customer feedback. It may do very different things. It may replace the uh, database design report, the one that you're used to over here. 
It's much richer. It doesn't have an overview like the database design report or DDR right now with all those cross references so you can find things, but it's much richer. It's got more information than the DDR. And so what I would do is anticipate the DDR being deprecated in the future, not the near future, but maybe a couple versions from now when they get all this new XML version uh, comparison stuff correct, and then they start adding on to it. For instance, you might see it doing some stuff in the future that you may not have anticipated. Maybe it can rebuild a FileMaker file from this XML grammar. There's a lot of possibilities here. They're trying to do this. And think about all the new features in FileMaker Server about startup restoration. It's kind of the same idea. They're using this, X, this XML to describe what the file looks like. And they can go further and further and further and see what they can do with it. But for now, it's just for version comparison. And that's actually pretty cool. I like it a lot because you can quickly, you saw how fast I could go ahead and compare two XML files from two different versions and see what the differences were.